Supreme Court has issued a notice uh, to all state governments, union territories, central government based on a query that was raised in a PIL, a public interest litigation regarding the treatment of mentally challenged patients and also the implementation of our Mental Health Care Act 2017. The top court has observed now that people who leave mentally ill patients at religious places for treatment are not mentally balanced. Meanwhile, the central government has informed top court 17 patients that were suffering from mental illness who were chained by Uttar Pradesh's Badayu district now have been released and also handed over back to their respective families. This, of course, being a direct impact based on the issue that the plea had raised on uh, the right to self-dignity that should apply to mentally challenged people of the country as well. Under no circumstances should they be chained. Isolation for treatment is fine, but not chaining them. Let's get in a word. We have with us our Deputy News Editor Minakshi Banja with those inputs. Uh, also our guest for this on this as well, getting in an expert word here uh, from Dr. Bharat Vadwani in just a bit. Uh, first to you, Minakshi, uh, with respect to these observations and what the Supreme Court has said, we already have a very sophisticated uh, act with respect to protecting and providing dignity to the mentally challenged, unfortunately, it's not being implemented. Well, uh, that's right, uh, Sahara, and it is taking the Supreme Court of this country to really take stock and crack the whip on uh, this one. And uh, these pictures uh, from Badayu of uh, uh, mentally ill people in chains has actually somewhere shocked the consciousness of the Supreme Court so much so uh, that Honorable Justice Nazir today uh, made that uh, famous observation which you were referring to, that it is actually people uh, who leave these uh, people in such uh, institutions on the premise of religion religious grounds uh, for, say, for instance, our booth plate uh, treatment uh, are the ones who really are mentally imbalanced. Uh, that is coming in as an observation. And uh, just a couple of days back, sir, when this matter came up for consideration, uh, we saw the Supreme Court uh, go ahead and express uh, its uh, concerns about the manner in which uh, these people are treated, saying that everybody is entitled uh, to a right uh, to life with dignity. And if at all there are any uh, allegations mm -hmm. or apprehensions about a certain patient uh, being violent, uh, then there is always this uh, recourse of keeping that patient in isolation, which you were referring to. But in no way uh, can uh, keeping such patients chained uh, be permitted. The pictures... Uh, that emerged there were quite uh, shocking and distressing and that is why uh, we are seeing the top court really uh, take uh, all this into cognizance, crack the whip and uh, so much so we had right. a top law officer, Government of India, Solicitor General uh, inform the Supreme Court as to how uh, all these 17 people uh, from the said asylum home in Badayu have now been released. Uh, but the fact of the matter here remains as to how okay. a matter of uh, this nature, a matter of this uh, gravity which really needs uh, so much coordination and implementation on ground. Uh, finally, it is left uh, for the Supreme Court uh, to crack the whip. Back to you. That's right. Stay on with us. Let's get in a word here from Dr. Vatwani, who is a founder trustee of the Shraddha Rehabilitation Foundation, a recipient of the Maxis Awardee 2018. Uh, doctor, given the fact that this, of course, is an immediate impact specifically pertaining to the case that the petitioner had raised of a mental asylum in Badayu. But uh, there are several such mental asylums here on where you have mentally challenged people who are, who are not just mistreated, susceptible to abuse, unfortunately, here as well. Would it really take a petition to act on other such hospitals treating mentally challenged people? I think uh, by talking about uh, cracking the whip, one has to keep in mind that the basic infrastructure available to the government in itself is less in the terms of manpower. If you look at uh, the total number of psychiatrists, I mean, uh, it's very easy to blame the government for uh, wanting to do something. But if you look at the number of psychiatrists, there's a study which shows that in 2001, there are four psychiatrists per lakh. And there was a study done in 2011, which shows that there are three psychiatrists per 10 lakhs. Now, if you have that kind of a dwindling manpower infrastructure where the question of implementing mm -hmm. any law any act which has come into force irrespective of the act being 
uh, whipped by the Supreme Court. You have to take into consideration right, that Dr. not Dr. just Vakwani, psychiatrists, this the once total again... number of psychiatric social workers, the total of number of mental health. Yeah. Yes, but Dr. Watwani, this this once again once again means here yeah, that uh, on paper in law we have a sophisticated law on paper, but things aren't reflecting in the same manner on ground. Yeah, things are not not reflecting in the same manner on the ground because in genuine hardcore reality, there's a shortage, absolute crunch of manpower available, absolute crunch. I was just yesterday in conversation with the uh, uh, mental health secretary of Gujarat. Every district of Gujarat has got a uh, mental health program put into place. But despite that, quite a few of the districts are not having a psychiatrist. Now that is actually, that, that finally cannot be, uh, the government cannot be held responsible for that. There is not manpower enough to handle the whole situation. Majority of the psychiatrists after passing out are pushing off abroad for greener pastures. And this is this is, uh, this so, is uh, across the entire spectrum of mental health professionals, be it a psychiatric nurse. Yeah. Yes, doctor, but we're looking at how can the system work on ground. Uh, the Supreme Court, of course, now has issued notices to respective state governments, union territories, central government here as well. Uh, but given the fact, immediate action, of course, has been taken pertaining to just one mental hospital in Badayu, based on which a query, uh, a complaint was raised by the petitioner. What about this, the other asylums? What about the other hospitals then? This is a knee-jerk, this is a knee-jerk reaction by the government. It is a knee-jerk reaction by the Supreme Court also, if you ask me. This is a knee-jerk reaction. At the ground level, the Mental Health Act 2017 states that all the wandering mentally ill should be given treatment free of charge. Now, are there institutions enough to take in the wandering mentally ill? That is the bottom line. There are mm -hmm. not enough ad institutions, okay. there are not enough beds. The uh, recent, sur recent survey says that the number of beds which are available is 1 per 50,000. Now, when there is not enough beds, there is not enough infrastructure, it, it becomes a immediate just a kind of a de-jerk reaction to kind of try and situate that these 17 people right. are sent back home. I'm not saying that what the chaining was done was uh, Right, it was absolutely wrong. It was absolutely right. and grossly, catastrophically okay. wrong. But it is unfortunate that people sending them back home perhaps is not the best solution. Methods. Let's get let's get in a word here I from the petitioner, Mr. Gaurav Bansal, lawyer, and who put in that petition in the Supreme Court. Yes, let's get in that word from Mr. Bansal. First, are you are you satisfied with this immediate reaction? You, of course, had complained against 22 of these patients at this mental hospital in Badayu. Out of which 17 have now immediately been unchained and sent back to their families. Yeah, see, basically, uh, this is the 10% of the job which is authorized to the government. Okay, they have, the government has done only 10% of its job. The, they have what they have done is they have just released all such persons under the act that is the mental health care act 2017 it is the duty of the government to provide the mental health care to such kind of persons the mental health care is, def uh, is defined under section 2 of the mental health care act which says that mental health care includes the treatment as well as the rehabilitation so what the government has done is only the 10% of its job. Now the question comes, uh, see, the one more thing which I wish to point out is that, and I request the media and you the people to raise such kind of issues because these are, you are the people who can make aware the common citizens that these are the things which are going mm -hmm. wrong in our country. So I request you to make more and uh, to make people more and more aware of all such kind of uh, things. What we will do if our relatives... That's or right. Uh, have... Awareness... Uh... Right. Please go ahead very quickly because we're getting in a family reaction here as well. Yeah. So I just want to uh, point out only one thing. I wish to add one thing. That the moment we have a uh, disease uh, like a cold or the fever etc. We will go to the doctor. 
we will have a medicine we will request him to prescribe the medicine but the moment any kind of mental illness is there what we are the people are doing the people are going to the mazars or the mandir for having the blessings mm-hmm. my dear friend it is only the medicine which will work we all need blessings i am not against such kind of blessings that's but right I to be clinically against. treating mental health issues there as well is your point stay on with us please getting in a word here from family member uh, jyoti saxena with us on the phone line appreciate you being with us ma'am uh, are you satisfied with the nature of observations that have been made by the court uh, and to what extent do you think now this is going to be taken seriously by respective state and central government here uh, because on ground there is still a lack of manpower to be taking care of those suffering from mental issues Jyoti Saxena is my voice going through please Yes ma'am Hello um, madam my question here to you is uh with respect to what the supreme court has done on putting on notice state and central governments here in uh, in ensuring aspects of the mental health care act 2017 are taken into account with respect to dignity right to dignity even for patients suffering from mental issues yes ma'am i feel that uh, actually patients who are suffering from such type of illnesses they themselves do not readily accept that they are ill so it's a very tough job for the, even the parents you know and the family to uh, uh, take them to a doctor or treat them or to believe themselves and hence any such judgment mm-hmm. which is given in their favor they where they can get medical help i think that is the only help which will help patients which are medically ill like someone just said uh, no other types of blessings no other types of um, you know tantra mantra and other such things actually help so and the life of such people is very right. difficult and even their family members have a very very tough time so if anyone who is ready to help or come forth with such type of help to such patients mm-hmm. is is a real 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 blessing for the patient because his life is that's miserable. right but ma'am this is also about after they enter a hospital a mental asylum or a mental hospital they ill treated even there patients are chained instead of following procedure of keeping them in isolation and treating them properly and that's the yes. issue that the supreme court has raised that under no circumstances should anyone be chained like an animal Yes ma'am I do agree with that because that isolation has an adverse effect on the patient himself and the situation becomes even more worse actually my husband was uh, is being treated by uh, one uh, very well known doctor dr vatwani his line, his way of treating the patient taking him into confidence talking to him and the patient gets so much confidence in the doctor that he starts believing he is okay is ready to take the medicine and so on so i believe that if a patient is given the right atmosphere the right treatment the right type of doctors then there is no need to treat them like animals or keep them in isolation or uh, treat them different from the others and uh, if the medical aid given to such patients in terms of medicine or maybe you know uh, support um, uh, in different ways maybe from the family or from the doctors or the working staff i think if such conditions are good in the hospitals patients will get a really good um, uh, you know response in their treatment and patients will also cooperate with the um, treatment many times when they see they are treated badly they try to run away from the doctor they t- lose faith in medication and they feel that somebody is playing uh, you know some games with them so uh, if the supreme court says they should be treated like normal patients and given a good treatment um, that is a big breakthrough i think in the medical uh, uh, okay f- facility all right uh, despite despite of course having ha- having already had the mental health care act 2017 for the past uh, one and a half two years here the supreme court once again has to reiterate that to be seen as a breakthrough uh, gorov bansal petitioner with us uh, gorov the issue here of course uh, is also uh, with the supreme court saying that this is an important aspect of the health care act 2017 what is this just the tip of the iceberg the specific issue that you raised on how patients suffering from mental health are chained what are the other aspects of 
the Mental Health Care Act 2017 that aren't being seen implemented on ground in these hospitals? See, the apathy is this, the apathy with our country or the, with a red tape attitude which the government has adopted, the various state and union territories have adopted is this, that under the law, they have, uh, this Mental Health Care Act was notified and was in uh, force since 7th of uh, July 2017. But it is, uh, hello? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but, uh, yes, please go ahead. Since Yes, sir. Uh, so it is under the force since 7 July 2018. But the apathy is this, that no state and the union territory has uh, implemented it in a letter and a state. Right now, the position is this, that under the RTI, I have recovered all these things, that uh, the Ministry of Health and Family yes. Welfare only has provided me the reply that no state, as well as the Union Territory, has uh, constituted the state mental health authorities, state mental, uh, the medic, uh, mental health review boards, mental health establishment, even the funds. So right now, they are in, uh, right now, there is, under the book, there is a, yes, there is a mental health care act. But when we talk about the implementation mm -hmm. of the act, uh, I think they have not implemented 1% of the act. So the picture okay. is very... And that's, uh, of yeah. course, saying a lot. Not even 1%. It takes, uh, it takes a separate petition here to, uh, to have uh, the Supreme Court uh, literally wrap on the knuckles of the, the respective state and central government here. Let's get in our viewer calling on this. Uh, we have uh, Major Samra from Ludhiana. Please go ahead, sir. But first of all, it is more important that we must, as a society, rise above this social, uh, mental, mental block. It is also a disease. It is not a stigma. We generally attach stigma to anybody who is slightly wonky or maybe he is not in the right senses. It is a health issue which people can't, shouldn't be caged or tied or, or chained. People have to be That's right. And we're still, uh, we're still plagued by a stigma attached to this, unfortunately. Appreciate you calling us in. One very quick final word here uh, from uh, Dr. Vatwani with us. Uh, uh, Dr. Vatwani, this is unfortunate because uh, the law seems to have moved ahead, but the government and society is still stuck with that stigma. Exactly, which is what I, what I was trying to tell you right in the beginning which is that with the amount of infrastructure that is required to actually enact the law is huge. So there has to be a huge outlay from the government in terms of manpower, in terms of funds, in terms of resources towards this major lacuna which is missing in healthcare per se. You will be surprised that the, that the amount of money which is allocated to healthcare, mental healthcare, out of the entire healthcare is 0.07%. Mm -hmm. Now, when you have only 0.07% oh, allocated to mental health versus the general health, how can all the infrastructure be put into place to have that entire thing to be put That's into right. place, to have an act to be implemented to the letter, you need a huge funding resource. Absolutely. We, we appreciate that valuable perspective that you had added to this discussion and many thanks to all the other voices that have spoken to us here on this. And with that, it is a wrap on the show with this discussion. Complete your TV viewing experience with the best of Hollywood entertainment and news. Get the Times Network value back at just rupees 13. Ask your cable or DTH provider now. Razi. Dekho apne favorite online movies or shows apne bade TV pe. Amazon Fire TV Stick. Fire up your TV. Nuclear, the answer to cancer. Didi, mere ko ek din ki chutti chahiye. Ek din ki? Nahi, 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 nahi. Tu na, pure mahine ki chutti le le. Zomato No Cooking January. Zomato app se food order karo aur pao up to 50% off all January. We got San Francisco and West Hollywood. We don't need Sparta. This means war! Why risk it with war, dude? Just answer simple questions and be the king of Hollywood. MNX is on a hunt.
for the biggest Hollywood buff. What? Watch the 9 p.m. movie on MNX every Monday to Friday. Keep the skies clear. Simple questions will be flashed with two options of answers. Give a missed call on one of the numbers with the correct answer. If you get all answers correct, then you can win an all-expense paid trip to Hollywood. Oh, that's awesome. Also win many more prizes. All right, I'm in. 75 days, 75 questions, 75 correct answers. Yeah! yeah. To become king of Hollywood. Monday to Friday nights at 9. Only on MNX. Good luck. Thank you, bhai, for teaching me to always look my best. Vico Turmeric in Shaving Cream Base with antiseptic properties of turmeric to protect your skin and sandalwood oil to soothe it for a smooth, safe, fragrant feeling every time. But most of all, bhai, thank you for teaching me the power of confidence. Sirf ek extra monthly milne pe itni khushi. To so jo lakhon ki tax saving investments pe extra mile to kaise? Aise. ED Money app. Tax saving mutual funds mein zero commission pe invest karo. 40000 tak ka tax bachao aur 1% tak extra return kamao. Har saal. To ED Money karo start aur invest karo smart. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully. Complete your TV viewing experience with the best of Hollywood entertainment and news. Get the Times Network value pack at just rupees 13. Ask your cable or DTH provider now. Complete your TV viewing experience with the best of Hollywood entertainment and news. Get the Times Network value pack at just rupees 13. Ask your cable or DTH provider now. Use one injection only for one person. As reuse of an injection can be deadly. Use only Kojak syringe as it breaks automatically after a single use. A hundred days. To do what? That is an excellent question. What is it you know? A hundred blockbusters. This is cool. Wow! A hundred prizes! Presents? Yeah, baby! This is amazing! Need me to do anything? Nothing. Just sit back and chill to win. Hundred Mania Season 6 starts 15th December every night at 9, only on Movies Now. आप हमेशा बिग बास्केट की तारीफ क्यों करते रहते हो? फल, सब्जी, दाल, चावल, इन सब को बरीकी से परखना चाहिए। बिना देखे, बिना परखे, यूँ ही। बिग बास्केट भी आप ही के जैसे एक्सपर्ट हैं। जैसे आप दाल, चावल चुन चुन कर देखते हो, वैसे ही बिग बास्केट भी क्वालिटी परख कर पैक करते हैं। बिग Try it. Like Mommy Ji Big Basket has become. You also become. Complete your TV viewing experience with the best of Hollywood entertainment and news. Get the Times Network Value Pack at just Rs. 13. Ask your cable or DTH provider now.